A lot of the funding for tax individuals comes from the large corporations and the banks, the the individuals and the businesses near the top of the pyramid, the Fortune 1000 businesses and um, these are corporations that are intertwined so they all depend on each other and instead of we have given our power away instead of um, going to a local friend's shop that we know whatever we've been seduced into giving our money so the money to the big businesses big supermarkets because we have been seduced by the cheap prices or by the advertising the products by this amazing perfume it's very very expensive um, these trainers, you know, they're the latest in the status quo for the street, you know, buy this, buy that. Um, we've been seduced by it and um, we've given away our power because we are now dependent upon this materialism, which is basically um, about the maintenance of a persona that we use to interact in society with. We have a persona and that persona needs these things to maintain the um the appearance of that and also the large uh, corporations and private equity companies they tend to have particular business where they rely on another business which is under their belt their portfolio that provides the goods that are the services that one of their other interests uses so it's all together it's all kept within a network which is around the top of this pyramid so we've now given away our power and our belief in the external material things that it's we're going to be happy or whatever in order to if we buy sorry to buy this from here or go there or and a lot of conversation revolves around shopping and things and that nothing wrong with that but we have been manipulated and hypnotized to recycle our money in these places um, and you have like the restaurants the bars that are all chains and they're underneath again the portfolios of these private equity firms and then you have the bankers which invest in these corporations and these private equity and you are talking lots and lots of money. You're not talking a few million. You're talking 50 million upwards, billions in some cases. So it's very important that we are hypnotized and seduced to buy and believe in these products and to go to these places. And we don't really have a lot of choice now because I was looking at a map from 1906 and it has a consensus on it. And you had butchers, bakers, <laughs> Uh, tailors, clog makers, you know, they didn't wear shoes, they wore clogs. And um, well, in the north of England, they did, uh, they wore clogs. And you had dressmakers, you had tripe dealers, <laughs> uh, fried fish people, and all, all these type of businesses, which were obviously in the community. Now, oh, florists as well. Now, that whole straight where all those businesses were on this consensus from 1906 and this map have all gone and it's been replaced with a large supermarket where obviously you can buy all those things from and again this large supermarket is under the conglomerate of the arm of one of these private equity firms and they are obviously invested in by the very very rich people uh, at the top of the, uh, the Illuminati pyramid and that is where the money comes from for the gang stalking. Also, because these are all linked, they're all like a, a web, you see, then you can easily be gang stalked in one chain of bars, one chain of supermarkets, because they all belong to the same example, private equity firm, or the, the same conglomerate. They are, it's very, very easy for them to arrange to put people in. You know, people are starts and the gang starts and they say, oh, like, how did the people that work there know? Because if they're under the same portfolio as a private equity firm, a corporation that has a disagreement with you um, or a court case or you've you've been a whistleblower or you've just otherwise got on the nerves, then or you've left unfair dismissal or you've put some kind of a court case in, then if they want to, they they can make your life hell and they can do this. And they've also got a lot of funds and a lot of contacts 
And from what I understand, these are not people that like to live and let live. If anything, they um, are very dark and they um, are not generally Christians at all because their agenda is about money, it's about materialism. And if it, any way you threaten that, you are threatening their God. <laughs> so we've been seduced by materialism and we are all living this way and we have given away a lot of our power to this. This also includes entertainment and the media. So the only way to take back our power is to try and gain some type of independence, however small, and not to rely and not to believe the propaganda of this. So you have the chains of the, the coffee people and that pride us with the lovely coffee and the bars and things and how nice it would be to go and have a coffee in there and what's actually happening is that if you are gang stalked in there it's quite likely that they are friends or that they know the other business that you have fallen out with hmm, that has arranged your gang stalking so they can easily coordinate it and I also believe I haven't got any proof but I've actually seen it in my own gang stalking where I have in one particular incident I had the police cooperating and a local pub cooperating as well as the actual gang stalkers so the police officer actually looked at the public transport the bus I got on he looked at the reg and then he went away he turned up at the bus stop looked at the reg since I got on the bus he was looking at the reg then he, he went away <laughs> And um, I got off the bus, went into a bar, and within about half an hour, a woman that's gang stalked me before, and she used to go in the previous address where the gang stalking started very seriously. Uh, she came in with a young boy and two men, and they she asked the young boy to put, put, ask them to put it on, and he went with his phone to the bar, and they put a song on that was um, with the name of my dead pet in it, okay? And now, obviously, they know what they're doing. And she actually actually heard her say, because the word stuck out, um, she goes in and she mentioned an, a bar that I, I used to frequent. Oh, it's her from the blah, 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 and the bar. And obviously, I go in that bar, so my ears pricked up. And then the next thing I know, this song comes on. But I was ready for leaving anyway. I'd finished my drink. So there you had the participation from the police and a pub, which is a chain. It's a franchise. And um, some gang stalkers as well. And... It just goes to show how this has a network of people to do it, like one nod to the police, to the, the thingy, then the, obviously he must have phoned somebody, or arranged it, then the nod to the people behind the bar, um, and possibly somebody on foot as well, who knows. So in a similar way, if you, if you are, these are all, businesses, factions, different things. And you would think that none of them are connected. You'd think, what of, what has a police officer got to do with a bar? Um, what have these people got to do with a bar? Have they been in there before? They must have been. Or the woman behind the bar, the man behind the bar, must have known what there was on about in order to play the song, to let the little boy put it on, on his phone, over the PA in the bar.